went into this, yeah. this hunt not really knowing what to expect. We talked to biologists, past hunters, people that had a tag previously, and we got a whole bunch of different ideas from different people. Now, they're pretty sort of spread out, and then later on in the season, they worked their way towards the Green River. So what we did is we sort of decided we just worked everywhere and then figure out where we want to concentrate our time at. So it's currently day two. Uh, we've been scouting for probably four or five hours now. I don't know. We have only seen two rams, a younger one and a bigger one just this morning, a ewe and a yearling. So we have a spotting of the ram yet again. He got up maybe 20, 30 minutes ago to move into the shade more. Where we're looking, right down in there. We're over in there. Look at the beautiful train that we're in. Utah. There's a river right down below us. That's why we haven't crossed it and hiking it because it's way too big for us to cross by foot. We have to have a raft. I'm not that great of a swimmer, so I choose not to go on the raft unless I have to. This area over here, we're actually not allowed to hunt because this is a different unit on this side. Funky, huh? Yep. So, right here, not allowed to hunt. Up here, not allowed to hunt. That over there, since the river is all in between it, but we are allowed to hunt. Right, honey? You got that right. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth, fourth evening, we found a really nice ram. At first, I wasn't too impressed with him. He didn't have no wow factor. He was staring straight at us for quite a while, laying up on a sandstone bench about 325 yards away. And we all watched, took pictures of him. You know, just a nice ram. We watched him up cross the river right before that. And then when he turned, you can see he had great mass. His horn length looked good, but with a real tight curl, I think it was a lot smaller than what I thought it was. A lot less horn length, though. Still no wow factor. But then we started thinking about it was the best ram we've seen. It was a really good ram. And then Karen and Cody were leaving in a couple few days, so we figured it might be a good ram to take. And at that time, he decided to get up and start moving elsewhere. The ram got up, started walking away. We tried to get a shot on him and just couldn't, couldn't make it. At night camp, we realized how good he was looking at pictures, so we decided next morning to try to dig him up again. Found him way up top, inaccessible. Um, last couple hours of that day, you know, we watched him most of the day from like mid morning till a couple hours of light left. We ran down, watched another canyon we wanted to look at, we haven't seen yet, and you know, found some sheep down down there. A uh, little ram and a bunch of ewes and a group of ewes away in the back that had no ram. Morning again after that, same thing, same place. Seeing the ram coming off the top of the rocks, we went down to try to intercept it. Uh, he was up on the ribbon cliffs. We're set for a shot. We're all talking about how you know how to get him out once we shot him. Kevin was watching him. I had him in the scope. My fingers on the trigger, and someone else shot the thing. Dropped in my scope. And that was the end of that round. Just the low, low of lows. That was probably around 10:30 in the morning. We boogied on down to the canyon. We saw the ewes in the night before. See if they picked up a ram or not. And we got lucky. Now found found the ewes pretty quick. Saw a nice round with them. Kevin set up a spotting scope. As soon as I looked through it, you know, it was just wow. That was the wow factor we were looking for. Hurry to get the raft in the water.
So, how long have you been putting this tag in for? I can't remember what it looks like right there. Since I was a wee knee high to a grasshopper. No. <laughs> you can cut all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, at the same time, it's so hard to find them in the, at the same time. Yeah, but I think the white blood's the easiest thing to try and find. Yep. They always contrast against anything else that they're in. It's weird that they sort of evolved to have that kind of coloring. God thought it wasn't fair. That's why. So yeah, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for everything except for you. But you're going to moon everybody. These are the weird conversations me and my husband have. <laughs>